Hello, Jim. How's your day going today? It's going pretty good. How about yours? Doing pretty well. If you don't mind, I have some questions to ask you today about your projector situation at Boise State right now. Yeah, okay. All right. How many professors are using projectors currently, if you were to guess? Um, I would say we have about 150 professors using our projectors. Okay. And uh, you're using Optima right now, is that correct? Right. What led you to choose Optima previously? Um, it was just the one that we thought would work best for our classrooms. It seemed like they had good features and quality at the time and the price was the best one that we found on the market. Yeah. Um, how long have you been with Optima? Um, we've had them for about three years now. Okay. Um, how many projectors, if you were to guess, require maintenance in a given year? Um, I would say we do maintenance on at least 50% of our projectors a year. Okay. So I heard that you may or may not be thinking about switching providers. Is that correct? Yeah, we're looking into it. Um, our projectors seem to be getting to the end of their life. So we're just exploring our options. Okay. What would you say your least favorite features about Optima's products are? Um, I've heard from the professors that they take a long time to boot up. So it uses a lot of their class time just getting everything connected and getting the projectors warmed up and ready to use. Okay. Um, how difficult is it for professors to get trained to use these Optima projectors? Um, we don't offer formal training. It's just kind of they have to figure it out. We have had a few complaints that they're not the easiest to use and to figure out how to get them all connected and everything. So pretty difficult. Okay. Yeah. Um, when did you first notice that it was time to consider maybe switching your projector provider? Um, it's been about a year now that we've been getting more and more complaints. Um, so we decided it's just about time to explore different options. Yeah. Um, has it been easy to communicate with Optima about your, your problems? Um, not really. It takes, you know, a few days to a week to hear back from them with maintenance and to get new supplies sent over. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So these problems could seriously cause headache in the classroom, I could see. Yes. Uh, how does a projector malfunction affect this teaching environment? Um, well, if we have a malfunction, we can't get our maintenance team out there um, that day or that during that class to fix it. The projector's out for the rest of the day. So the professors that are using that classroom after can't use it. They don't have visual aids for their lessons, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, do you think uh, less projector mishaps would make it easier for these professors to teach? Definitely. I think it would, they'd have a lot more time. Yeah. Okay. Um, when you can't service a projector immediately, what does the professor usually do? Um, usually they just have to go on without using the projector, um, try to do their lesson as much as possible without PowerPoints or whatever they had planned. Yeah. Okay. Um, what have the professors been frustrated about in regards to these projectors? It's mostly been the slowness of them booting up as well as just malfunctions during class of them losing connection or the quality not being as great as they were when we first bought them. Okay, yeah. Um, so a projector overhaul may be somewhat necessary at BSU to keep everything running smoothly. Yeah. Okay. I think so. How much, so how much money would you be able to use towards other projects with a new projector provider, would you say? It would definitely be a good part of our budget. We spend quite a bit of money replacing bulbs and um, paying our maintenance staff to go in on a weekly basis and kind of just do the small fixes that the projectors need. Okay. What type of positive feedback would you be receiving from these professors after this much needed upgrade? Um, I think if they are easier to use, you know, their classrooms are going to be more productive and they're going to be able to use more resources. So they'd probably like that they have the ability to use their entire class and visual aids and stuff like that. And would you say a, ma a good majority of the time these problems that are resulting from the projectors spiral into a bigger problem? Yeah, I would say so. I think the teachers just get frustrated. Yeah. Okay. Well, Jim, I appreciate you taking the time to answer some of these questions and I look forward to hearing your decision about this projector upgrade. Uh, let's get together for 30 minutes, maybe this week and further discuss this decision. Uh, is Tuesday or Thursday better for you? Um, Thursday. Thursday? Okay. And then morning or afternoon, what, what would you prefer? Morning. Morning. Okay. Well, thank you again for your time and
I look forward to hearing from you again. Yeah, thank you.